Working with 12, it was really great because we had enough people to actually like make a cool project, especially over the course of a year. Team projects are usually really hard. You have a lot of people who will not pull their weight, so I was scared about that. But going into the project now, my team has been really committed to our project. It's actually been kind of a blessing to work with that many people. I saw it as a better opportunity to make a bigger game and a more polished game, so I was actually pretty excited about that. We were never worried about not having an idea for something. It was never like, what do we do about this? It was like, here's 10 options, which one do we pick? There's no way we would have achieved everything we've gotten done so far with a smaller team size. We need every single person, and every single person is pulling probably more weight than they need to be at this point. It goes from one person all the way through four or five people and get a finished product. That means that everyone had a part in it. It's just really cool to see what you can achieve when you've got so many minds together. I think it's really nice to have two teams in the same class. If our entire class was one team, I think that we wouldn't have had that kind of second brain to feed off of. Every single, about like three weeks to a month or so, we have what's called a sprint review. So we show off all the work we've gotten done for that sprint. We also do play testing at the end of every sprint. So we get good feedback from the other team. Play testing our own game is really hard because we built the game, we know exactly how it works. They were able to play through it and give us critical feedback that we wouldn't have got if we just kept playing our game over and over again. We would always kind of give each other like a little bit of crap. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's the right spot. The minute you put two different teams working on things, there is bound to be competition. You want to make a better game than the other team. Building 37, how many bugs do they have? You know, how many bugs do we have at Everend? You know, it was a constant trying to one-up each other. So I think that that was a healthy competition there. Just that little bit helped push our games to the limit. But it's all fun and games, you know. They are going through the same struggles as you are. I think we both are really well balanced in where our strengths and where our weaknesses are so that we can help build each other up in those areas that we might not put as much thought into. If we had a problem, they might know how to do something, so we'll ask them. We're pretty open about collaborating. We're not like, oh, we did this, you can't have it, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty open environment. There's always kind of comparison, but we were all still nice to each other, unless we were joking, in which case we're maybe a little mean. Ha, 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 ha.